guys, so as you've already seen from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about makeup palettes, especially eyeshadow palettes, because that's what I have more of. I don't have a lot of face palettes, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Now, a lot of eyeshadow palettes in my books is how many of it I have. I never used to own this many. It's just recently, maybe the past one year or even like the past six months that's when I have bought or got collected a lot of eyeshadow palettes now this does not include any trios or quads because I do not consider them as palettes but yeah um I'm gonna quickly go through what palettes I have and show you like maybe a couple swatches and yeah that's all I have to say let's get on to the video now, if you saw my Perfect Palette Tag 2, you would have seen that I said in that video that I not, I'm not a palette person and I don't own many palettes, but since then I've collected a bit more palettes and just in general, there's beautiful palettes now, so I've been collecting them. So yeah, let's start off with Too Faced because I love Too Faced eyeshadows and I like collecting them. But still, I do not have a few palettes that I want. I do really want the sweet, semi sweet palette, and I want the Bon Mons palette. So, those two I really want. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you what palettes I have. So, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, their first edition that they brought out. I got this as a birthday present from my mom in 2014. And I love it. I love this palette a lot. It smells like cocoa powder. It's made of cocoa powder. Love the packaging. Love everything about it. It's, I would say it's my favorite palette ever. I think so far. What's in my collection? Um, uh, so yeah, this is the old packaging. Not old packaging, but like the old type where the names only come in the sleeve, but now they're actually printed on the palette. But this is what it looks like, beautiful, neutral, toned shade. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so yeah, this is my favourite palette and I love the quality of these. They last forever on the eyes, especially with the eye primer. I don't know if you can see, so those two shades, that's what it looks like. And I didn't even rub a lot in there, so that's great pigmentation and I... Love this palette. This thing in the Chocolate Bar series, I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is a very recent purchase, I think in May, end of May or June. Um, so I really love it. Look at the packaging. It's beautiful. It's inspired by peaches. The peaches on the front, um, I love the colour of these. Very, very pretty. Then you open it, there is a big mirror just like the Chocolate Bar palette, like the original one. And this smells like peaches it's amazing guys this is limited edition now but I've I think they might make it permanent I don't know but they're re releasing this palette because it has a big demand but look at the shades it's beautiful but I'm a little bit disappointed because not, they're not like the chocolate bar palette where you know every shade is pigmented these have hits and misses but I still really love the palette I find that the darker shades work better than the lighter shades. So, and it's not even peachy. It's like brownie. I don't even know. But it's a very nice warm palette. Love it. Um, I'm going to swatch two shades. One is caramelized, one of my favorites. And I'll swatch a, um, I'll swatch peach pit, which is a dark purple shade. Yes, those are two of the very nicely pigmented shades. Love those. I have a mini palette from Too Faced. This is so cute. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. And this is amazing, guys. All the shades work amazingly. Love the packaging on this. Love the toast. Um, and in the back, there's, there's a cute little bread toast there. Saying, don't worry, sweetie. This product doesn't contain any actual peanuts. So if you're allergic to peanuts, you'll be fine. I open it, there is a mirror on the top and then this is a nine pan palette. Um, this has peanut butter shades and jelly shades. So there's purples, 
um, oranges, warm bronzy, coppers, and you know, it's it's pretty. I love it. Love this palette. This was limited edition, and I'm glad it's limited edition. But I've again heard that this might be permanent because everyone wants it. So I'm gonna swatch two shades just on the top there. Oh yes, look at it. Super pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Love Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. Then I have another Too Faced palette. This is from their 2014 um, Christmas collection. This is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. And then this is limited edition and you probably cannot get it. But the shades, you can probably still find it in other Christmas palettes or something. But you open it, there is heaps and heaps of shades. There's 20 eyeshadows. And then in the bottom here, there's some brushes. And there's some blushes and bronzer, if that fits there. They're beautiful. The shades are really pretty. I actually haven't used this in a while, so I should probably use it. But, yeah. But I don't like using these in tutorials because you can't find these anymore. So that's one thing annoying when you have a limited edition palette because you can't get it again. It's like, what's the point? So... I do have this. Alright, let's move on to MAC. I've got one MAC palette, like make your own palette, um, from when I was doing makeup artistry, um, my MUA course. This is what it looks like. I've got eight shades in here. I l absolutely love this shade. This is called um, Tempting, and it's a really pretty bronzy, browny, coppery, I don't know. It's a beautiful bronzy colour. So we've got that. Um, and yeah, there's there's a black. There is a grey. There's some shades. I'm not the biggest fan of MAC eyeshadows. But they're not bad in quality. Like, they're not bad. But there's better ones out there. But now that they've dropped the price in the US. I think it's worth it. See, that tempting shade is beautiful. Um, but, yeah. So... That's my mini MAC palette. Then I have the Balm palette. This is the Nude Tude palette by the Balm. I got this earlier this year. I think started this year. And I do really like it. I like the shades a lot. We open it. It's it's really sleek and it's got a magnetic closure. Open it. There's a big mirror. And then I do not like the packaging though. I mean, what is that? Like, why are there girls there? Like, I don't understand. But... Um, yeah, there is 12 shades and some of the shades are really beautiful. I've done a tutorial called the Smoky Sultry Makeup Look and it's, it's nice. It's nice. So, um, one of my favorite looks. So go check it out. But yeah, those are the shades. I'll swatch a couple. So, there. Those are the shades. The pigmentation's not bad. They're really good. You can see what my favourite shades are. Bronzies and golds. Yep. Love bronzes, love golds. Anything warm, hi, give it to Shawana. Alright, next we're moving on to my latest, 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 newest palette that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I'm so glad this is permanent because otherwise I might have had to put a thousand dollars aside and buy like how many of you would get for a thousand dollars. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm obsessed. Like that is the only way to describe it. I despise the packaging. I hate it. It's already dirty because it's light pink too. Like it's like foundation on it. It's it's gross basically. But I care about the inside. Look at it. Just look at it. That's there's a big mirror. I appreciate that. Look at the shades. Like, hello, amazing. Um, love every single shade that I've used so far. Beautiful pigmentation. Eleven shades are matte. Three of them are shimmer. There's fourteen shades in total, and I appreciate that eleven shades are matte because I love matte eyeshadows. So, you know, everyone's different, but. I love matte eyeshadows, so I do not mind that, and I love putting red shadows on my crease and even on my lids. 
Let me know if you want a tutorial with like red on my eyes. Not red, but you know, these ready pinky colours. Like a matte eyeshadow look. Let me know. Um, using this palette. But I've already got a tutorial using this palette. I will leave the card up there. But yeah, I love I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let's swatch a shimmery shade, which is Primavera. And let's do a red ochre, which is right next to it. These are very powdery though, that just makes it easier to blend out. So I don't mind the powderiness, but they're very pigmented, so make sure you just tap the brush, like when you touch it, and then tap it off, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. Look at, so that is Red Ochre, and that's Primavera. Look at the pigmentation. That's fantastic. And that's like that matte eyeshadow. Normally matte eyeshadow is a shit. <laughs> Because companies can't get them right. But this, yes please. Alright, let's quickly go through this. I've got a Kat Von D palette. This is the Mirita Loca palette. I got this from Sephora during Christmas. It was limited edition. I love it. Colourful palette. I don't have a lot of like colourful palette. Um, and this is beautiful. Love the pigmentation. And I love the concept of this, how they have some shimmery shades and some matte shades, and they're beautiful. I'm going to get it out. It is big, so it's really pretty for pictures and stuff, but not really handy to take. This will be really nice for makeup artists. Can you see it? There. That's really pigmented. Love it. So I have a palette from Sleek. This is the... I Divine Mineral Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Sunset. So this is, I can't open it, why? This is what it looks like. You open it, there's a huge mirror, and then there's the shades there. Beautiful sunset shades. I'm gonna swatch this blue one because it looks really pretty. I haven't used it yet, and I'm gonna swatch this orange one. Yes, let's do it here. Yes, look at that pigmentation. Amazing. Oh, the shades look really nice together. Should I do a really colourful tutorial? Let me know. I have one Chi Chi palette. This is the Spices palette and I'm obsessed with this as well. Warm tones, love it. Golds, browns, coppers, warm tones, love it. I used to own Chi Chi palettes in the past and I didn't like them as much. For starters, it was good, but... Then I had better eyeshadows and I got rid of it. And I didn't really want to buy this palette because I was like, the the pigmentation's going to be bad. But I'm like, the colours are so pretty, I'm going to buy it. And I bought it and I changed my mind that they have... Well, I don't think I changed my mind. I think they have reformulated their eyeshadows. I don't know. They're more pigmented. They're, they're really, really, really good. So I like them. Well, I don't know about other palettes. I like the Spices palette. Beautiful pigmentation. I'm going to do this goldy, coppery one and the one next to it. The only thing I don't like is when they don't name it. So it's like when you're doing a tutorial, it's so hard. Look at that pigmentation. Yes, honey. Super pretty drugstore palette in Australia. Right, let's, let's quickly do this. I've got a benefit like book. This is the Do the Bright Thing. Best and Brightest Total Face Makeup Kit. Um, when I open it, this is the stuff that's in there. There's a mini um, Bad Girl Liner. There's a mini High Beam. Mini Dat Girl Primer. There's a Dandelion Blush. And there's a Dare Real Mascara. And there's meant to be a brush there, which is missing. So, I've got this. I don't know why I have it. I should probably sell it because I, like, never use this. Then I have an Asio palette. This is the Eyeshadow Palette in Earth. And I've come to the conclusion that I don't like the formula. I love the packaging. I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. Except the fact that it's powdery and not the best. And all the shades look very similar to each other. Especially when you swatch them and put them on the eyes. <laughs> like it swatches beauty. I don't know if you can even see. There. Like next to the blue, 
like next to the blue and the orange I don't know here it swatches beautifully but it doesn't translate well onto the eyes I do not like it I don't know then we have the NYC Lovatix by Demi Demi I always get confused I think it's by Demi Lovato is that her palette I don't know but my friend sent me this and I really like the quality of this. This is what it looks like. All neutrals from like lights to darks. They're beautiful shades. I'm going to just swatch two random shades. And they look like the Gigi palettes. How weird. Look at the pigmentation. That's amazing. And I'm pretty sure this is very affordable. So Then I have two L'Oreal La Palette Nude palettes. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. They're small. They're really nice to travel with. Um, not that I've gone anywhere recently, but they will be really nice to travel with. I've got the shade Rose and Beige, so I'll show you the rose. I love how there's a mirror on the top, then there's 12 eyeshadows there. The shades look really pretty, so that's the rose one. But the quality is not the best. They're not as good as their single eyeshadows, which sucks because I love L'Oreal eyeshadows. I think they're the best in um, drugstore. Uh, that swatches really well, but I just wiped my swatches, so my hand's still wet. So it's swatched better. I think that these work better on a wet surface. So if you wet them or with a eye primer, with a tacky eye primer, I think this will work better. But they're really good, but they're not as good as their single eyeshadow. They also have beige, which is beigey shades. Browns, you know, you know the drill. I'll swatch two of them. over there. Next I have two Maybelline Nudes palette. So I've got the the Nudes palette, then I've got the Blush Nudes palette. Now I don't like the quality of both of these. This is way better than this one, but they just they're still not good. But I'm going to keep them and do some tutorials and things like that. This is very new, so I'm it's not going anywhere. Um but yeah, as I said, the quality of this is better than the original one. Um, and I'm keeping this too because I like a few shades in this one that actually swatch really well. I love... I love that shade. That's really nice. And then we have the Blush Nudes palette. Very, very new to the collection. I've done one tutorial using this. So, um, in my trying Maybelline products video so check it out I'm just swatch that there so these are all like pinky purpley shades then I have a Maybelline master contour palette so that's what it looks like I've got that like it I love the highlighter love the blush love the contour shade love it love it all check out my trying Maybelline products video you'll know what I think about these a NYX palette this is the NYX beauty on the go palette I literally just got it like last week like four days ago so I'm not this is not going anywhere but I just want to show you what it looks like so that's what it actually looks like it, it is big and bulky and and heavy so beauty on the go mm, I don't think I'll take this traveling but there's a small mirror there you open it there is eyeshadows which is great colorful shadows then you slide it how do you slide this thing oh yeah slide it there's lip products down there and there's contour highlights and blush I actually love the blush shades the highlighter shades look good and the contour shades look good too and I love how they have light medium and dark very very nice for every skin tone and this is a nice first like makeup artist or whatever so and if you're trying out makeup and you're playing around with it and you want to try a lot of shades that one's great so I got given this at a bloggers event and I like it 
I am trialing it out currently and I do like it. The Body Shop British Rose Palette and I do not like this. This was in my disappointing products video because the shades are too light for my skin tone. But when you open it, it is a big mirror. Then you get two blushes and six eyeshadows. As you can see, they're very light shades. Um... Yeah, and the quality is not the best, so not impressed, but I'm still keeping this in my collection because it's new and I'm a hoarder. This is my Z palette with some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're randomly put in there. They're not arranged or anything. I have no idea what shade's what. I do know that's Coco Bear, one of my all-time favourite eyeshadows. Um, then we've got Flamethrower, which is one of her... Was it, what is it called? Intense eyeshadow? Whatever that's called. Um, let's read it. Foiled eyeshadows. Yes. Um, and yeah, th there's a bunch of eyeshadows in there. So, love Makeup Geek. Um, I don't love the foiled because they crease on me, even with like a billion eye primers. So, yeah, that's disappointing, but I still have it in my collection. Alright, the last palette I have here, which I haven't even used yet. This is the Pro Fusion Studio Highlight Palette with six shimmering highlighters. This is what it looks like, I haven't even used it, but there's six highlighter shades in there from like lightest to darkest, so I'll use it, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. That's all my palettes. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite palette is and what your worst palette is. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, also check out my single eyeshadow collection, so you can check, you can see what eyeshadows I have. And yeah, uh, let me know what you want to see in action. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.